Hi guys, welcome to another week of Whistle Stop Wednesday videos. Today we're in the train room here and you're looking at something that I got a lot of complaints about from the passengers in the passenger cars. So maintenance and way had to come down here and extend this out another four feet. I used a four by eight sheet of homosault and for the bottom I used two by fours. You probably can't, yeah, you can see them down here. I have some two by fours for the bottom that I use for the whole base. And uh, this is a section that uh, I'm pretty pleased with right now because what it does, if you could see in there, is gives me another four feet of straightaway so that the passengers don't get that whiplash feeling. I never had any kind of derailments inside there, but uh, being that um, uh, I was always, it irked me a little bit, so I decided, well, what the heck, I got extra track, let's bring this out and around. And as you can see, there's some nice 072 curves leading back out to the main ways. Now I will do a couple of uh, uh, portals on the side there, okay, on each side. And this here in the middle, I'm still kicking it around. I don't know what I want to do yet. I do have a tipple that I might place in there and just have a, uh, a small engine switcher or maybe one of those track mobiles move it around so you could see how that uh, tipple works. So without any further ado, let me start this baby up, show you the feature engine of the week. And as you can hear, it has a cool whistle. Let's bring it out of the tunnel. Good coupler slack, that should tell you something. Deep throaty shuff to it. There's a Pennsylvania logo on the front. Big iconic light on top. And what is it, you might ask? Well, this is the, let me shut off that bell first of all. This is a 4464 Pennsylvania Railroad Q2. And this is a real winner, guys. Has all kinds of neat stuff on the top of it. Great whistle. It is from 2000, 2001. Still has that big Anaconda uh, tether on it. Real call load. Big, long tender with the doghouse in the back. Uh, the hatches do not open. The hatch on the top doesn't open. And if you can remember from last week, the K4, uh, this one is a lot more red. Uh, K4's uh, tops and tenders are a little bit more brownish. I kind of like them better, but this is great. Okay, without any further ado, let's get some smoke going in this baby. And set it up. Whoop, going the wrong way. There we go. Okay. Great coupler slack. Look at that. Look at all those side rods working there. A four, four, six, four. Dog house in the back. Marker lights in the back. It's pulling around. Pennsylvania rail cars. Take it out through the layout. Look at all that smoke, guys. You just can't beat an MTH smoke unit. Bring it around. Here's the back side of my layout right in here. Something that you guys probably didn't see lately. Big traffic jam on top there. Elvis is directing traffic there. Batman's there, so we got things under control. And this right in here, I don't know what I'm going to do yet. That's why I still keep on playing around with it. But it's it's fun to think down here. Okay, I'm going to bring it around. There's that smoke. It's 
see if I can back it up for you guys. See what the backup system looks like. Has two marker lights in the back there. Has a backup light. The light does not work in the doghouse. Great couple slack. Nice classification lights on it. And there you have it. Lots of smoke. I'm going to shut off the smoke. Okay, and I'm going to shut her down. Okay, guys, there you have it. The Q2 by MTH from about 2001, maybe 2000. I don't know exactly when. I just got this in uh, a few weeks ago, and I decided to break it out for that. Okay, guys, keep on training. I hope you like my edition here. Out.